Hello guys, welcome back to Lindy Lou Productions. I feel like for some reason like I haven't like videoed in a while. It's really weird. I don't know. Um, because I think it was only like the beginning of the week and today's only Saturday. Um, but we made 300 subscribers. 300 subscribers! I've worked so hard for that. It's not really that much I guess compared to a lot of other YouTubers. But for me that was like a goal and I reached it so thank you very much um, I hope that we can only continue growing from here um, so that was the first thing I have a couple little announcements or just things I wanted to talk about today um, and that was one of them so I did say in a couple videos ago that I would do a 300 subscriber giveaway so comment down below whether you want it to be a horse giveaway or a bunny giveaway and then however many there is that um, that comment, uh, you know, whoever wins, whether there's more horse or there's more bunny, and then we'll go from there. Um, and then also I was wondering if you guys would be interested in me doing a Q&A. So let me know down below, um, you know, what questions you have, if you would be interested in a Q&A video. And then I also was thinking of making a separate Instagram for my YouTube channel because right now I've just kind of been linking you guys to my personal Instagram and I thought that I would make a separate Instagram just based on my YouTube channel um, so let me know also if you'd be interested in that so three things what you want uh, the giveaway to be horse or bunny if you want a Q&A and what your questions are, and whether you think I should make a YouTube specific uh, Lindy Lou Productions Instagram account. So um, let me know if you'd be interested in following that. It would be horses and bunnies and kitties and everything involving all the animals that I own. I am still waiting on stickers to have her kittens. I don't know how she's still pregnant. I did feel one of them kick uh, my hand the other day whenever I was holding her, so I know she's definitely pregnant. Um, I just don't know how she's still holding on to them after all this time, so. Um, but we are still diligently waiting uh, for her to have them. <laughs> she's grouchy. She says, don't touch my fat belly, I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> Huh. I like you. And then I'm also getting, I'm going to be setting up a few more cages um, down in the, by the chicken coop bunnies. Um, I had a friend who is taking a bun of mine. I'll explain that in a few minutes. Um, she contacted me with uh, a possible bun that needs a home. Um, her boss owns it and she's just sitting in a cage and doesn't ever get outside like he just came straight out and said like he never lets her out like at least mine like yes they're in cages a lot but I do try to let them out at least every other day um, whether that be in the shed to run around or outside in my outside pens um, and so I said bring her over I'll take her you know she can go down with the chicken coop buns and uh, so he's gonna be dropping her off later so I will introduce you to her um, I do tend to take bunnies on, unwanted bunnies, and I find them good homes, usually with friends, and usually with people that I keep track of them, so, um, he's gonna drop her off, and she may stay. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, I decided to move you somewhere better. But anyway, so Bonnie is now Bonnet. Um, I don't know if you guys watch Outlander, but that is where I got the, the name from, um, definitely starting to act like a buck and I checked that bunny like three times so I'm really surprised by that because I'm usually pretty good um they are just coming up on I think five months old um so he's getting to the age to act like that so I am gonna make him a separate cage today separate him obviously from his mom and his sister so that kind of sucks because now he's gonna be alone um, but I can't have him breeding his mom and his sister. And then I'm going to show you uh, my babies. They were three weeks old as of this past Thursday. They are doing really well. And um, the little tiny one is picking up her weight and doing better. So I'll show you them. Oh my goodness. She's grooming her. 
this little broken black, um, I honestly thought that it didn't have eyeballs. I could not see them, and the sockets legit looked empty. Um, and it is just super tiny. I don't think it's ever going to be anything that's going to be able to be shown. Um, so I did ask a friend of mine, like I was talking about earlier, she has bunnies. She's actually a boarder. Um, she has a horse at the same barn that Lindy's at. And she is going to take her. It is a little um, doe. And she's going to take her. She has two neutered males um, in a really nice big hutch with a run and everything. So she'll get a good little home because I don't think that like she does have eyeballs but I don't think she can see because she like runs into things and like has trouble getting out of the nest box she can't find it like the edge to it and stuff so I don't know I guess we'll see she's never gonna grow and progress like her siblings so I'm just happy that I have already found her a good home and they're asking for like weekly updates on her growth and stuff like it's actually really cute so I'm excited for them <laughs> so that's the update with them I love this blue baby it's really cute I don't know if you guys remember me mentioning um, I don't actually think that I ever did but I was looking for three aunts, which are like a four to five pound um, super red like cinnamon color um, bunny and I just thought that they were really gorgeous and I kind of like low-key was looking for just like a breeding pair for fun to show and stuff and I could not find them anywhere. They were super, super hard to find. Well, I had put like a little ad out and randomly, I mean, this was like two months ago, a month and a half ago. So randomly I get a message this past weekend from a chick that lives 20 minutes from me and she wanted to know if we could do a swap. So I was like, sure. And so that's what we did. I got a pair of three Antas. So they're actually super nice. And so I will go ahead and show you them. So this is the dough. Um, I did get them, I think on Monday. I can't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> I'm like losing track of my days. Um, anyway, so this is three Anta, T-H-R-I-A-N-T-A. She is a doe and her name is Ariel and I did breed her to the buck on Wednesday um, and it was a very successful breeding so I really think we'll be uh, awaiting an arrival of babies in about 30 days so hopefully that works out good um, but they're both very skittish they need a lot of like handling and just petting and stuff because they both do not like to be messed with which I have heard can somewhat be a characteristic of the breed. This is the buck. His name, I decided, she came with the name Ariel. This guy didn't really have a name, but I decided to name him Carrot Top, like the comedian. <laughs> so his name shall be Carrot Top, and he is my three on to buck. But the last show I was at, which was this past weekend, um, I actually saw a breeder there. There was like probably three people there with three Antas, and they had like a ton of them. And they're, they're gorgeous. I mean, their coloring is just such a rich red. And I just was like, oh man. So then literally like that night, this lady messaged me. It was so weird how it worked out. It kind of just fell into my lap because I quit looking just because I felt like I had so many other breeds and projects going here and I couldn't find them. So I kind of just like quit looking. Well, yeah, that's my new venture. I guess I'm always having ventures, but you know, I like to keep it interesting. Okay, I'm getting ready the cage for Bonnie, or who is now going to be called Bonnet. Oh man, I didn't really do enough bedding in this. Hi! <laughs> uh, Alright, here is the finished product. Um, I actually had it exactly like this when it was up in the shed, so kind of funny. <laughs> I wish I would have kept it that way, but oh well. So um, I need to find him a water bottle and a food bowl. I am going to leave him in with them until this evening just to make sure that they finish their pellets, and then I'll take him out and move them. Okay, found a water bottle, hay, food dish for him. And then I've been slowly collecting um, these. The, these are the biggest cages you can get from Tractor Supply. 
and I've been slowly collecting them so that I could start, um, so that I could stack them out here with the St. Hubert's and the Argent Noirs that I was going to start breeding. Um, and so that's why I originally bought them. I wasn't expecting to get this doe. I will have a cage ready for her, so this is where she'll go, at least for now. Um, I do think this is where she'll stay. Um, and then the mini lop, she's under the cage. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that I need to separate them because they've been, like, not really fighting. They just, like, constantly hump each other. Um, so it's like they're not really fighting, but they just constantly hump like dominance and I can't imagine that being very enjoyable so I've been thinking of just splitting them up into pairs so then I would need I bought two of these so I still have one more I could set up and I've been thinking of putting it on top of there so I guess we'll just see how they do so yeah I guess stay tuned to see if I actually get this dough or not um, she is a tricolor and her name is Cuddles <laughs> she's here and they gave me so many supplies. They gave me two cages, hay, food, a bunch of water bottles, food bowls that they had for her. It's okay, pretty girl. Say so she's scared. <laughs> um, they said she likes this ramp, but I think I'm gonna take it out because it's not really easy to maneuver in there with it, so. She's a chubber girl. Chubber, chubber. Okay, so this multiplied quick. <laughs> um, I decided to separate Bennett, like I said, and I separated Molly and Holly, two of my mini wops that I had, just because they were fighting and just not getting along. So it's just Callie and Sweetie there on the bottom. And then the new girl, her name is Cuddles. And I may put her in one of these cages. But I thought just for tonight, everything is so new and she's used to being inside. I thought I would just keep her in the cage that she's used to being in. So, um, but yeah guys, that's really all for today's vlog. So I will see you next video. And thank you for watching. Bye.